in this presentation of Viewpoint 3D, we see basically a FID screen which has been created in a 3D environment managed by Viewpoint 3D. We use the Viewpoint 3D design editor to very easily jump into a 3D environment and put the modules, the objects together to, to create a structure which has one source object and that object links all of the FID screen elements together to make a, a display which is automated and uh, is suitable for 24 by 7 uh, mission critical uh, FIDS information display or other applications. Here we can see that the, the screen there, if I, if I reset that animation, uh, we zoom that object up and it's running. It's linked directly to a database and we can edit that database, uh, change that, uh, say the second element there from fly B to, for example, uh, BA and we will see that the logo here swaps over to BA. Um, it's a very very simple system to implement for any airport, small or large or very large. Uh, the data is transmitted from a viewpoint server application via multi, uh, multi um, cast packets, very lightweight, very efficient, uh, much better than any other type of uh, uh, database linking uh, drivers or applications. Uh, and very flexible. Viewpoint has all the facilities built in for uh, processing multiple um, tables, multiple data. It will do all of the SQL processing automatically. You can simply create your, your list of fields here which are processed as required um, to create and filter the data as you need it. Um, in addition, you've got translation tables which allow you to create codes in your database which will create changes in displays, changes in 3D or 2D objects, um, and even translate between languages. Um, so it's been very well thought out for airport applications or any other type of display application. Um, let's quickly go into here and um, turn off the, the camera animation that we saw earlier there. and. There's our screen in the distance. So that screen can be recreated in portrait or landscape formats for very large monitors or video video wall and uh, at very high resolution. Here obviously the video is compressed so the quality isn't what you'd see on a normal um, full HD large 42 inch monitor. This is just to give an idea. If we double click on this object in the center here we can now spin around we can now spin around and, and see our object in 3D space. Control the, the speed of that in the environment and change any, any characteristics of any, uh, of any objects that we need to. The, the objects here are all individual objects but they're all tied to one base object so then it's very very easy to make copies of fit screens, adjust them of a departures, arrivals, or, or whatever you need. Um, in addition, we can add new objects very, very simply. For example, we can add a weather system. Um, this might seem a bit strange for FIDS, but it gives you a lot of flexibility for coming up with novel ways of presenting information uh, to capture the attention of the audience. Here we've got a weather system. Uh, we set the defaults. We see that we've got two cloud layers here um, at various altitudes. And, and there we have it. There are the clouds that have, that have been generated randomly by the system. A couple of cloud layers in there to reduce the spin control. So basically, the system is 2D and 3D. You can mix and match your requirements, uh, pre present very traditional. Uh, information to your clients and then when you need to change it you can simply spin the scene around to present new information without having the complexities which are usually inherent in 2D systems. Uh, in this system here I have some other examples um, objects fading in, fading out. I've got a more complicated uh, presentation here with airport data in it which gives an idea of, of the mixing, the matching, the spinning around between your types of presentation content. 
we're looking at novel ways of making boarding gate information, um, advertising information, using real-time data so you don't have to go back to the 3D designers every time to create new content. It's done automatically. So we're really reducing the cost of 3D creation and delivery dramatically using the system but we're pushing to make sure the quality is very high on a low range AMD A8 or Intel i5 processor system you can achieve about 200 frames per second at full HD resolution obviously with quad HD you need a little bit more processing power um, and that's it and of course you can uh, one of the benefits of viewpoint 3D where all the code has been developed in-house in ANSI standard C++. It's very portable. We can run it on different platforms and uh, we can also encode it, as you can see here, for autostereoscopic, the new 3D displays which require uh, interlaced formatting or multiple imagery. And, and of course the old traditional red and green glasses are also supported. So um, we're pushing the system forward, working on the manual, working on the content. Um, we're not uh, really a graphics company so we're very interested in partnering with graphics uh, design people who can help us take this forward and, and we hope people find it uh, interesting. Thank you.